Hello everybody, this is FC7, and today I'm going to show some examples of Solowin and Gorowin. So here we are at the Gorowin entrance. I'll just get some food and water summoned. And I always like to put on Gift of the Grave. So let's do this, and the entrance is actually the best part of the zone to Solowin, so we have this first mob. Let's pull him and let's do paralysis and then start your dot rotation. It's the simple root rot method. These should take about the same amount of time as the mobs in ST. And you might want to pull him a little bit further up because there are a couple of ads in here. You might have social aggro, so what I'm going to do is hold on. push him up a little bit using paralysis. Oh, okay, he's down there. So. Looks like I need to change my spell lineup, so I'm going to go to solo play here. I was actually dual win with my other necromancer and a couple other box tunes. So we'll just continue solo win this guy. I take about three minutes per mob, depending. All right, we'll move on to the next two. Get rid of this stuff. And this next pull will be a little bit different because these mobs are linked. So what I usually do is pull him. You'll get aggro from the dog. So let's see. Just snare him as well. That's LG. And I will paralysis him this way. Of course, you'll get aggro on the Sarnak here, but you don't have to worry, just keep going in circles until paralysis refreshes. Where are you? Oh, there he is. So paralysis is back up in 2-1. There we go. So we'll start with the dog first. Oh, and I almost forgot. Be sure to call a camp check every time you zone in here because this place is very crowded. It was last night. Last night was Friday. Tons of people in the zone. Up him, we'll set the terrace. And of course, one of my favorite items, the cast Tash. The Ladies Entreaty. Ladies Entreaty. There's also another item you can use to catch Common Orb of Tishan. Pretty good. Item. start dotting this guy as well. Maybe I'll put these two 
a little bit closer together. Let's do this. There we go. Oh, they're right in front of me. Switch off between targets. Attach to Sarnak as well. there. Some I am. Some PM. Some PB. Flash blades. Weird enough. If you ever get that, just remember instant snare, turn around, paralysis him again. He ain't going anywhere. And remember if you're soloing, you have your eye of Zom. I'm down to 75% health. Target the eye, press tap, and I'm right back at 100, so let's see what this guy's at. About 4%. Flash blaze. Swift sickness. He ain't gonna last long. There we go. Okay, so the third guy is down here. The patroller. Paralysis him. Snare Soloed, they're not going to be responding for a while. Oh, and I guess I should have Lich up. Can I forget that? Um, Death Bloom, get mana back. seeing spam from another group around here. So that's another thing I wanted to warn people about if they're going to do this because this zone is like just full of people all the time. I don't want to say it's like the noob zone of the expansion, but I don't do that. Sathu's tomb where I usually solo, that's hard to get to, so you have maybe 10 people at the most max at a time.
let my eye go look to think where exactly that other group is. Yep, see there they are. So I probably won't show how to do the other two in front of here, but I have another spot. Okay, so let's just get out of here. That mob is done. And if there wasn't a group camping around this area, I would show you how to solo these two guys in front here, but um, it's pretty self-explanatory. So the next spot in Gorowin that I think is great is located over here. And it is this guy right here. So you would pull him, paralysis, and start to root rot. sure to debuff. Put on some hit points. Hold on. This is also a placeholder for a named mob that drops this um, this piece of this quest item piece, which is where is it? I just got it. But anyway, it's like a piece of a medallion or something. Where are you? But I guess it's one of the quest. Items. There we go. Piece of a medallion. It's a quest piece to get into VP, I think. I don't know. I'm really not doing many quests in this expansion. They lay out this whole um, linear quest line that you do, but I don't follow that. I just play like the old days where you just go in and find places to solo as a necro, and they can't tell me what to do or how to play. But if you do get the, um, the name to, uh, to spawn right here, just be aware that uh, you might get you might get social aggro when you pull these other mobs that I'm about to show you. And the, um, the name is pretty tough. The assist range is pretty huge, so if he spawns, I would just go back to zone in if you're doing this solo. Luckily last night I had my, um, my other boxes with me, so... Get rid of this stuff. Okay, so this is the spot where you get a lot of experience. Um, there are four mobs over here. So what I'm going to do is split these guys. Time to change. Darkness. Fade out. Yeah, last night there was actually a group over, like, pulling these mobs after I had already um, done a camp check and checked that the zone wasn't very full. At least the area that I was looking at. And, um... Somebody started yelling that uh, are taking my mobs. They were taking the mobs over here that I'm pulling right now. 
I was kind of like, hey, um, you know, I'm camping these mobs. The guy got kind of mad at me. He actually called me a name. Said something like, well, genius, what are you doing? You can't pull these, genius. But I didn't get mad. Usually I'm up for a good OOC battle, but um, last night I was like, hey, why would I do that? Plus he had a cool name. It was um, something like Onyx, like the uh, rap group from the 90s. And I grew up on that music. Like, I don't know if you remember the group Onyx. They sang that song. Bam! Bum, 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 bum. I was like, I can't fight with this guy. Cool name. So yeah, start your dot rotation here. So yeah, to follow up on that story, I was camping right here. And their group was over here. Like, pulling from this area. <clears throat> Excuse me. And they, like, they saw that I was over here pulling these mobs, but they pulled them from me anyways. Alright. Enough of that. Let's get these games. Good camp spots. Um, the respawn timer on the captain over here, the placeholder 2, is really long. It's like 30 minutes or more. Some death bloom, regen some mana. Third spire. I was looking at this whole zone, this entire zone, and noticed that this is the only safe spot without roamers. They really pack these uh, this expansion zone with a lot of mobs. Howling Stones is worse. You can't like step a foot without running into a mob. Alright, so next mob would be this guy. Sarnak. Oh, I guess maybe this guy wants him. <clears throat> Effigy. And paralysis. So this guy. start dotting them, uh, both of them. <clears throat> Could actually aggro crate pretty well here. If we didn't have paralysis. Yeah, I messed up on that one. But it's nothing I can't fix. Oh, 
also back. third guy and have three rooted at the same time come at me bro so now you have all three mobs rooted you can them all at the same time Remember, you're the best solo class in the game, so this ain't nothing. have to see something here quick because I don't think they gave experience. Unless I'm not seeing this right. Oh, <laughs> well, I guess he did give experience. It almost looked like I didn't get any. Oops. But I guess two is not bad. These guys do con dark blue, so they'll be given a little bit less experience than the uh, yellow cons. Keep your eyes on the timers. But he's still no match because I can just do that. Alright, so now we have three. No, two. Two mobs. expansion and ask him to have a longer root duration. I know on my druid he has like a four minute duration on the root. Kinda jealous. But my ranger has like a one minute and thirty no, one minute duration. And 
that's Max. So I guess Necros are something. I guess. the captain might be spawning soon right here and he might get aggro or social aggro so let's start on this Sarnak right here Huge assist range. Yeah. But you get the general idea. Now, if he would have been a regular captain, a regular, like, trash pile that spawned, he wouldn't have done that. But this named, yeah, he's, uh, he has a huge assist range. So, if I was just soloing this, I would probably solo this area until he spawns. And then maybe go back to the entrance. But there's also another spot I want to show in this video where it's um, soloable. <clears throat> uh, so the next spot. Oh, it looks like he still has aggro. Hold on. So we'll just wait here a second. Wait for him to path back. And that Slayer looks like he doesn't have any dots on him, just debuffs and a root, so... Should be safe here in a second. Should be. I'll look over the next spot. So, here is the map. And this is about it for, like, decent solo spots. I know there's some tunnels in the back of the zone, but there's too many pathers to, um, to solo reliably, so... Let me stick to this area. Okay. Agro's gone. And I'll show you a third spot that I think is decent. That would be right back here. Oh, I'll show you that. Where am I here? Oh, here I am. So, I could probably start off with this lava thing. Sarnak will assist him with the creature. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. He also had a pet with him, so... Let's just do this over with Effigy. Get rid of Aggro. Snare this guy. Paralysis him. Lava thing still has aggro on me for some reason. Mm. 
eight seconds left on paralysis. So I think what I'll do is just wait. Oh, there's another pather. Hmm. Honestly, this spot looks like it's maybe more trouble than it's worth, so... What I would do in this case is just... Levant back to the zone in And just um, solo those zone in mobs. There's like three of them for sure. Well, four of them. So that's about it for Solo and Gorlin. Um, that's about as far as I've gotten so far. I've spent I've been spending most of my time in Sathir's tomb doing that, but um, Gorlin is okay. Like I said, it's super crowded. Like there's another person right there. They're probably going to be trying to solo zone in too. So that should just about do it for this video. Um, thank you for watching. Any questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks.